She sings, she dances, she's Canada's latest pop star, and she's still in high school. She's Alanis, her voice and her picture all over the place these days. The CBC's Denise Harrington takes us to Ottawa and talks to Alanis. Yeah, I remember doing This is Alanis Morissette, the grade 12 student. And this is Alanis, the teenage pop surprise of 1991. She may be a brunette, but in the recording industry, Alanis is platinum. On the strength of two singles, Feel Your Love and Too Hot, her debut album has sold over 100,000 copies since last spring. Now Alanis is in demand. Last summer she played the Ottawa exhibition. Warming up for rap star Vanilla Ice, she had a lot of sizzle for a 17-year-old. But as with most seemingly overnight sensations, success hasn't come suddenly at all. Alanis has been working towards this all of her young life. I always wanted to do it since I was three. I've always wanted to be a, a singer. That doesn't make Alanis different from a lot of other girls with a dream. Something else does. Yeah, she's one of the most ambitious people I've met. That's Leslie Howe, the Ottawa musician who co-wrote Alanis' songs and produced her album. You know, when you're 14 years old and a well, guy or girl, whatever, I think usually your thoughts are on other things that, other than trying to make a career. I guess she's, she's known uh, right from a young age uh, she wanted to be a singer, and she's uh, done everything she can to, to make it happen. Everything, including recording a demo and shooting a video in Paris when she was just 14. We sort of didn't really hold back, and we went over to, to, to Paris and we did the video and we sort of we wanted to make it something that people would get on their desk and not just keep it there. They'd look at it and go, hey. You know, so we, we tried our best, and I think all kinds of things combined with, you know, a good song, and, and I guess I was young and stuff. <laughs> Alanis has moved into almost unclaimed territory in the Canadian music scene, the market for a pretty teenaged homegrown pop singer. Industry watchers say she has the talent and the drive to go as far as she wants, or as far as real life will let her. After all, there is school. Alanis wants to graduate from Ottawa's Glebe Collegiate this year so she can devote all her time to performing. She catches up with her pals, Steph and Cindy, at lunch hour. Cindy's a good singer, too. She's underestimating herself. <laughs> nah. Are you going to sing BG or something in the next... Uh... Next album? No. <laughs> I'm going to get her in there for sure. <laughs> yeah. Song of my own, maybe? Steph's coming on the road with me for sure. <laughs> yeah, right. Did <laughs> you get her? Sorry. <laughs> but in the afternoon, Alanis doesn't go back to class. She goes home to study and will soon get a tutor. There's just too much else to do. She has a dance workout to go to and a voice to keep in shape. Her car is her studio and George Michael is her coach. Used to be a baby when you had no money. Now we spend more time in battle than we ever do in bed. When did you get this fax, Dad? For now, requests for bookings come in on her father's fax machine at work. But then, Alan and Georgia Morissette have been on Alanis' career plans from the beginning. We're really enjoying it kind of the ride, if you wish, along. And just our basic purpose is to try to make sure that uh, the right people are surrounding Alanis and we're, we're in that uh, uh, being able to choose who those people are. Alanis gets to make most of her own decisions, what she sings, how she looks, just how sexy she wants to be. But there are limits. It's funny that you say that because just this morning I was looking at um, some shots from our recent video and there was some stuff from rolling around on the ground and stuff. And my dad's like, I don't like that. <laughs> and while she may make lunch for her father, I'm the big gourmet chef. <laughs> that doesn't mean she can win him over on everything. I'm going to uh, Florida for Christmas. <laughs> like her plan to join schoolmates on a trip down south. Is that okay? <laughs> That's all I want to hear. We'll see. 
But just about everything is going the way Alanis wants. She has a blossoming career. Mark's in the 80s, a happy home life. I'm sure, you know, there are some people that don't want to see me get ahead anymore. I don't know, but the, the close people that I surround myself with, like Steph and Cindy and my brothers and my family and stuff, like, they're, they all want the best, you know, for me. Alanis also wants the best for herself and won't let anything stand in the way of getting it. Thanks, Ottawa! Thank you! For News Magazine, I'm Denise Harrington, CBC News, Ottawa.